Hey guys, it's Dr. LT, and as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be filming a tutorial on how I make, I make my duct tape bows. Um, and this one, I'm actually going to be making another 4th of July bow. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this morning, actually not too long ago, I posted a picture of this bow. And this is actually the, um, the type of bow that I'm going to be making in this video. Um, in this one, I use the prism tape. Um, and it is the stars, and I paired it with blue, dark blue, white, and red. Obviously, because red, white, and blue. And also, somewhere around here, um, I have another 4th of July bow, sort of. It is the Prism Fireworks, which came from a Prism sheet back when they first started selling the Prism sheets. And then also I have this one out of just regular duct tape. It's the red, white, and blue wavy lines with firework trimming. Um, you don't have to use prism tape for this tutorial. You can use any tape you want um, just for the sake of making, you know, a 4th of July theme bow. I'm going to be using the prism stars again. I'm going to be making a bow just like this one. So let's go get, ahead and get started. What you need here is um, an X-Acto knife a pair of scissors, which is right here, a ruler, and a cutting mat. And actually for this, you really don't need a cutting mat and X-Acto knife. I just use it for the sake of having exact measurements. Um, but this is a really, very simple tutorial that does not use a lot of duct tape at all. So what you're first going to do is if you're making a bow just like this, is you're going to cut... Um, a strip that is six inches um, of your outside color of what you want your main to be your main color to be and obviously for this tutorial I'm going to be using the prism stars I'm just trying to peel this up because um, for those who do not know the prism tape is different and it has a paper a wax paper backing okay so I'm going to take my stars strip I'm going to lay that face down, and I'm going to take any color strip, it really doesn't matter, um, to be like the inside piece, and I'm just going to use black, and you're just going to stick that right on top of each other, and these are two six-inch pieces. So just stick that right on top of each other, just like this. And this is really your main piece. That's You really do not need a lot of tape for this video at all. Um... And now what we're going to do is we're going to trim the tops of this piece. And um, obviously I'm going to have different colored trims on the top and bottom because I'm making a bow just like this. But you can use the same color, it does not matter. And I'm going to just line this up on my cutting mat with a quarter of an inch because I'm going to put a quarter of an inch trimming on it. Just like this. And I'm going to take a 7 inch strip and cut it in half. Um, I do 7 inches just because it's easier for me to, um, you know, use on the cutting mat, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to take the straight side of it, and just going to lay that right there, so that it has a quarter of an inch trimming. I'm going to just see if I like how that turned out, just by pressing my finger to it, and seeing if that turned out to be exactly a quarter of an inch, which it did. So... I'm going to just fold that over and trim the sides. And then you're going to do that on the bottom as well. So that's just what I'm going to do right now. Take my red piece and lay that right there so it's a quarter of an inch. Make sure I like it, and I do. So I'm just folding that over and trimming the sides so that you have no ex excess trim. So it's going to end up looking like this. Okay, so now what, I'm, what I usually do is I fold it in half just to see where the middle of the bow is, just like this. And then I take each side and I fold it in. And this just helps me know where I'm going to have to put my middle strip. So just like 
this. And they're going to meet in the middle. So I'm going to lay this down. And what I usually do is I take a few little strips of tape. And I just kind of tape these together so that they stay together while I'm putting, you know, everything together. I don't know how to explain things. So I'm just going to like kind of tape these sides down so it stays right there. And you're not going to be able to tell because this is going to be the back of the bow. So you're not going to be able to see this. Okay. So now what you're going to do, you know, you have this and you know where the middle is. You're just going to take it and fold it to where the, the, um, the back of the bow is what you can see when you fold it in half. And then you're just going to fold those pieces up just like this. So then you should have what looks like a bow. And then you're going to take a quarter of an inch strip just like this. And just sort of lay that in the middle of the bow, like where the middle of the bow is. And I'm just going to refold this. And just like this. And fold that piece up and then that piece up. So now I'm just going to put the white strip straight down the middle of the bow and start sort of wrapping that around. But now you're going to want to attach your bobby pin. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning of the video. But you're going to need a bobby pin. So I wrap that around once so that it stays together while I'm trying to put the bobby pin on. And actually that's not very even so I'm going to have to redo that. Whoops. Okay. So I just wrap that around once so that the bow stays together as I'm trying to put on the bobby pin. Just like this. And right here is my bobby pins. I got this 60 piece of bobby pins at um, Walmart for like $2 over by the registers, which was a very good deal. So that's what I use for these. And what I do is I just open it up, and you can't tell because my shirt is dark. You can't tell where the bobby pin is. Um, I just kind of open it up and keep it open just like this. And I just sort of start to place it on um, the extra piece of tape right here, if that makes any sense. Sort of like this. And I just wrap that around. So it ends up looking like this. And then, of course, you still have this here. So I just wrap that around. And um, I'm going to cut it right here to where, you know, I still, you know, enforce it. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it right here so that it... In this piece ends right there and I can just fold that over and here you have your bow very simple and yeah very cool to wear around for the 4th of July or you know every day it doesn't really matter so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped and happy 4th of July guys bye